case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1979, the Supreme Court of Indiana heard the case Garcia v. State, which centered around a woman convicted of conspiracy to commit murder. The defendant argued that she could not be convicted of conspiracy because her only co-conspirator was a police informant who never truly agreed to the plan. She also claimed that the trial court failed to instruct the jury about the potential penalties for her conviction. The events leading up to the trial included the defendant contacting an acquaintance about her marital problems and expressing her desire to have her husband killed. The acquaintance alerted the police, who set up a sting operation involving a plainclothes detective posing as a hitman. The defendant provided the detective with $200, a photo of her husband, and details about his daily habits. The key issue at stake in the case was whether the new penal code followed the traditional bilateral concept of conspiracy or the model penal code's unilateral concept. The court ultimately found that the wording of the statute and accompanying comments supported the unilateral concept, which means that conspiratorial liability is based on the unequivocal evidence of a firm purpose to commit a crime and renunciation is not a defense. The court also addressed the defendant's argument that the jury should have been informed about the potential penalties for her conviction, citing IND. Code section 35511 and Feggins v. State, the court decided that providing such information to the jury would only invite them to be influenced by their personal judgment of the fairness of the statute, which is not their responsibility. In the end, the court found no reversible error and upheld the judgment of the trial court. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.